Greetings everyone, I am Zeno. I'm here once again to talk to you about Monday Night Combat and the Assault class. The Assault class seems to be really popular nowadays and a lot of people are playing this class more and more. And I've also been told that a lot of people are playing more uh, Gold Red of Fire, Silver Accuracy, and Brown Crits. And so I decided to uh, do another video about it. And here you can see a rage message talking about I have no life and then I just simply replied no because um, I gotta get this game started. <laughs> And I don't have time to deal with his childishness and his anger. So therefore, that's how that's how I reply that. And uh, here we go. Let's watch another gameplay of Assault. And hopefully we get to learn more about the Assault today. Um, I, in the last video, I talked about the Assault Rifle and the Grenade Launcher. And today, I want to talk more about the advanced uses of the Grenade Launcher. Because like I said, once again, it's extremely underused. But it's just such a great weapon. And uh, the thing that makes it such a great weapon is that no matter how long the distance, you will do consistent damage. Um, you can fight at a safe distance, and you can also ricochet bullets, and you can fight indirectly, meaning that you do not put yourself in danger while you're fighting back against enemies. And that's one thing we're going to talk about. It's at a specific spot in the video, so we'll talk about that when that comes up. But for now, the usual thing, as I do the first thing on Steel Peel, is fly in front of that little ramp, fly, charge, and then once I hit the bump, with the charge, like when I'm like being pushed forward during the charge, I release the flight, and then that will allow me to rick to project myself all the way across the map, gaining map control. But of course, sometimes the sometimes when you play in pub games, you don't really have a team that backs you up. So despite the fact that you're all the way up there in the front lines, it doesn't really do much. But still, you get to do a little bit of thing. And here I'm going to talk about right now the green launcher. This is the ricochet technique that I was talking about. You have you know, you can ricochet off walls, but the one thing I noticed the best way to use the, the grenade launcher is ricochet off the ground. That way you can uh, actually choose where to put them. And here is one thing I'm going to talk about, the level 1 bomb. A lot of people think skill, any level 1 skill cannot be used, but you have to understand, when you throw a bomb, people don't know what the skill level is. They don't know if it's level 1, level 2, or level 3. And here's the guy trying to melee back as I failed to uh, humiliate him, and I thought that was pretty cute. But the one thing you have to understand, the level 1 bomb, or the level 2 bomb, or the level 3 bomb, is that the bomb is there. It makes a sound, and it gets people paranoid. Even if it's level 1 bomb, like as right now, you saw that earlier, that guy. I mean, he realized the bomb was there, but he didn't have a choice, because I was in the front, forcing him back, and therefore he was forced to fight, despite that in the end he decides to retreat. And even the level 1 bomb, you know, caught him on fire. And that fire is really important, and we'll talk more about that later. Now you see at that part, he would have, he probably would have ran back, but I throw that bomb there, it makes a ticking sound. He, I guess he was assuming it was level 2, so he just kind of, you know, was forced back there to fight, and then, you know, eventually he led to his death. So, a lot of times when you throw bombs, you have to understand how to use it strategically. And here's one part that I fell to the victim of a level 1 bomb. Like, I heard the level 1 bomb, I did, don't, I did not know what really what where it was, and I was just freaking out, and then eventually it blew up. It was level 1, I was on fire, and I was like, wow, really? <laughs> a level 1 bomb. <laughs> so, you know, it really works wonders, you know. But of course, you'd rather have it at like level 2 and level 3, because this still too much damage. But I'm just saying, the, the principle here is not... It's not whether or not it's level 1 or level 2 or level 3. The principle here is that the bomb can be used as a to steal away the escape path like that part. I use I threw that bomb to avoid to prevent him from getting away. In case the player does choose to escape and then I can blow them back towards me or I can keep, you know, there's a lot of options after that. And then but the really thing you want is to keep them here to fight with you because most of the time when you pick a fight is that your weaker class is against you. And uh, another thing you need to realize about the bomb like every time they get lit by the bomb they're on fire, right? So even if they run away, they're still taking damage from the bomb. So you can see what they're doing, where they're going from, because they're taking, still taking damage. And that can essentially give you like a good head jumps on them, because you know you know what they're doing, and where to shoot your grenade launcher, bombs, etc. Uh, assuming you have the bomb recharged already for, for a second throw immediately after you detonate the first. Um, the great thing about the gold rate of fire is like when you get beat somebody from behind and you start shooting them, you do so much damage that they usually don't have a really good time to respawn. And if you choose to run like gold armor, silver accuracy, and then bronze, skill recovery, and something like that, I mean, if you do get the jumps on them, you know, you can still shoot them, but they have a lot more time to respawn because I, I, I tried different builds before too. Because like there's a lot of discussion about different builds and like competitive play, gold armor is the best way to do it, and then I tried it, and you know, it really, it really, really depends, and I really have nothing against like gold armor at all, and I really think there's a lot of great assault players, and that's the way they choose to play, and that's completely fine, 
And I understand that every bill out there is suited for everybody, but you know, like I tried it and it just, like that's one of the things I noticed, it's just with the ambush doesn't work as well. Another thing I want to talk about right now, you know the bullseye, you can shoot him for money, but if you throw the bomb at him, he catches on fire, I thought he doesn't pair, he's catching on fire, and that yields you a bit more money. I mean, it's not that much money, but you know, but it also builds juice too, I mean, if you, if you need the juice, of course, I mean, if you wish to build juice the legitimate way, other than just <laughs> meleeing with your weapon, sometimes it gets dangerous with the snipers around shooting, you know, so like sometimes you can throw bombs at it, build small juice that way, and also get a bit more money, and that's how I choose to. See, I put the bomb right there, assuming he was going to run back, just in case, kind of still in his path. He kind of realized the bomb was there, so he took the, the bottom path and, you know, ultimately led, led to his death. So, you know, the bomb has many uses. It could be used as ambush weapon, like if they're not looking, you throw the bomb in an arc form, and then you shoot them, and then when they about to respawn, you blow the bomb, you, you throw them off again, while they're on fire, take even more damage, and which really will ultimately lead them to their death. So that's great. And another path is to, you know, throw bombs around, you know, like the corners and stuff, and then wait for them to go there. And then once they go there, you know, they will just fall off the map and a ring out it will be really great because, you know, that gives you a lot more money and that's kind of humiliating to get a ring out. But then again, you know, the assault is the master of ring outs next to his bomb level 3 charge and whatnot. Whether or not you choose to use it. Here's a good example of using your bomb as a ring out. Of course, they didn't get it wrong out, but still, you get the idea, you know, you can throw your bomb in the arc. It doesn't make any sound at all and they're just standing there like, you know, just doing your thing. And then, boom, happens, they get terrible damage, and they get destroyed. Now, okay, now, this is the one I'm talking about, grenade launcher. You see how I'm using the grenade launcher? I'm shooting off the ground, so it doesn't just go across the map. This is part of the ricochet thing, because technically I'm ricocheting off the ground, but the bomb only travels, um, you know, a certain amount of distance, and then explode. And then we can continue to see how I effectively use it, whether or not I kill players. See, like, this map at that spot, A to B point, that was A to B point, okay? So that's, you gotta remember that. There's different, like, in my previous video, I'll talk about A to B point. Here's a good example. I'm selling off his exit. I shoot him to pressure him back into his base, whether or not he knows the bomb is there, and then he decided to run back, and then ultimately led, led to the ring up. And here, here I am, using, once again, like I was talking about, using my uh, grenade launcher. Of course, the bomb ringing them out is a plus, of course, because they're, <laughs> it makes a sound, so they should have realized it. But as you can see, that guy doesn't seem to have level two passive, so he's probably a beginner. So let's not let's not talk about it. Let's talk more about the grenade launcher. I was really really excited excited about. See, as observe as I use my grenade launcher skillfully, <laughs> it's uh it's really is quite a quite quite a useful weapon. And like I said, it's just real. It's just such it's such a real shame people don't use it. That itself finally realizes like how to use the grenade launcher, and then he's just trying to you know do what I was doing. And eventually you'll see how, how how he fights back with it. Anyway, nonetheless though, I continue to use to spam my grenade launcher and that that's a really dangerous corner and I just keep throwing my bombs there. As you can see, anybody who dares to come through that path, they get blown off the map. So it's really dangerous to fight a assault around this corner. Unless you're only unless you're assault yourself. I, but even then I will fight from above, you know, go through that glass here on the left because you have the height advantage. Now here you see I get a grenade launcher kill as I sit and he fought back with it, you know, it's like quite amazing. It really is. And then I got a lucky grenade launcher bomb on him, and then, you know, like again, A to B point, you know, you just, or ricochet, you just have to know your spots, and see, right, got a kill right there, <laughs> you know, such a great weapon, and I don't know why people don't use it, there's so many great assaults, all they talk about is like, gold armor, and gold armor, I mean, they don't even talk about the grenade launcher, they're like, yeah, I use my assault rifle 99% of the time, but you gotta realize, you know, the assault is more than just the assault rifle and the bomb, there's more to it. There's a uh, mobility, there's grenade launchers, there's uh, mind games, you know, there's so many things you have to do as an assault and they seem to ignore it and I just I just feel like they, they're not playing to up to their full potential and I hopefully hopefully they get to see past that and uh, you know try try different builds and um, try using their secondary weapon more. But I think the one of the problems they don't use their secondary weapon more is because they run gold armor. It re you really have to run gold I mean gold rate of fire. <laughs> really have to run gold rate of fire to use this to its full, full potential. Which is probably one of the reasons why I get to use it more often in my combats in the uh, pub games and competitive games that I get myself thrown into once in a while. And here's a sweet spot, like map 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 knowledge. A lot of people just walk through the hallway and then they you know they have a tough time have a tough time fighting bombs and you know ambushes. But you know as a result you can just use your use your flight and get above there. Here's a bomb mistake. I was trying to throw over the fence, but I didn't get it over there. But this, that's a good trap for anybody who you know walks on the goes for the jump lift. When they fly through the lift, you can detonate your bomb and throw them off the map. 
it's in one of my videos. You can see it. You know, like like I said, you know, like I like I said, I'm not the best player in the world, and I make a lot of mistakes. But I learn from my mistakes and from my, from my successes. And then you know, once in a while I make a mistake, and then I'm like, you know, like try to utilize it to its full potential. And then you know, once in a while I'll be like, hey, that works. <laughs> you know, that's great. And then you know, in the in the future, then I'll just keep doing that. You know, like. And that's one example. So I, you know, oftentimes I will try to throw my balls over the fence to get people hiding there. But then I hit it on the wall, and I'm just like, great, <laughs> that's one bomb wasted. But then I was like, wait a second, what if I keep it there and then wait for somebody to come by and then blow off the map, and then it works, you know? And then I just build upon. I, I really learn a lot more from my mistakes than my successes, you know? Like I make so much mistakes in games, and then I was, and then I try to think about why I make my, make those mistakes and how do I how do I utilize my mistakes and change it towards my benefit, which will benefit 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 me in the long run. And that's you know that's one really one thing I learned. Here's a good example of me trying to make sure the salt doesn't get away, you know, because he was trying to steal money like a black man and get away, and I don't like that, you know. So I I blow him back into the to us, and then we raped and we completely just destroyed him. Of course, I also do just because I just want to be sure I don't get killed. And since seeing as how I won the game more or less in an cannot economic way seeing as I have a thousand dollars left in my uh, in my pocket and then I just gained like another hundred twenty five dollars again you know I, I just decided to buy juice just to you know save myself from emerging situations where the juice is needed since I don't I really don't have armor here's another great example of using the green launcher ricocheting off the ground or A to B point it's, it's, it's kind of a combination of both really at that point but you know I, there's just so many examples, and here's the part where I was talking about where Bayern used to save my own ass, and he even level 3 grappled me, which I will say right now, he 100% deserves that one, he ambushed me, I did not see him coming, I was just too neglect, too, too, you know, not aware, so he deserved that one, but I had used to save my own ass, and that's kind of unfair, but, like I said, I won the game economically, I have so much money, I can buy three more juices. <laughs> You know, I really deserve to use my juices though any way I want, whether I can be juice chaining or uh, just destroying turrets and whatnot. But I just choose it to save my own butt, just because, like, like I said, uh, like for one, the video it really doesn't show that much skill. And two, you know, I uh, rather rather stay alive than being dead. You know, I really don't like dying at all. Really, that's just not my style. And but you know, that's just that's just a choice choice on the matter though. But nonetheless, you know, I continue to, you know. Keep contain them in their base. One thing you probably know is like I was just in the front, but every time they go around the corner, I go there and intercept them because that may cause problems for my team. And I can't really destroy tourists that well as, as an assault, so the only thing I can do is contain them, you know, kill bots, you know, damage the bots a little bit, let my bots destroy their bots. As long as their bots is weakened, I can guarantee you our blackjacks will destroy their blackjacks because they had the health advantage, you know. And then I just, you know, contain them. And then now it's, their base is getting more hectic. From what my teammates are doing, they hack the tourists, they put a fire base down and whatnot, you know. And then you know, I just fly around their base to see what's going on. And the one thing I noticed that support is going around the map, see. And then I go intercept them because I don't want them to cause any trouble. Um, unfortunately, here you will see that I was trying to throw the bomb at him, bomb at him, and then destroy the fire base, but I failed because I did not have the bomb ready, and therefore that was a mistake on my part. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to destroy him, and then I kill the fire base at the same time. So now I had to. You know, because I made that mistake, now I am forced to uh, spend more time destroying the firebase. So, you know, essentially, you know, when you make a mistake, it's not like it necessarily has to be lethal to you, but sometimes it can waste more time, and you can use your time to do better, you know, more stuff in the long run. <laughs> so, you know, that's one thing I also learned, you know, try to make my time more efficient, because there's time is constant, but you can only, and but, but you can do so much with so little time, and so, you know, you really have to, Play really well, be really efficient, be really accurate, and make everything you do count. And if you can do that, then you will be a great player. Um, it's pretty, it's easier said than done, though. I mean, I have so many years of experience of playing all sorts of competitive games. So, you know, I wasn't born to be the Monday Night Combat God, or just gaming in general. But certainly, like I said, the more you play, the more experience you get, and then the... Try to use the green lane launcher more. Try to make your bombs, you know, efficient. Even if you throw a bomb and you miss the bomb, you know, just leave the bomb there. It's not like the your your bomb still recharges over time, 
and if there's really nobody there, just detonate it. And there's so many occasions where I threw a bomb, people, you know, get forced back into it. You know, like sometimes I throw a bomb, and I want to use the most out of my bomb, so I move around him, try to force him back into the bomb, and then I blow them up. You know, stuff like that. And uh, even if you don't force them back, you know, the bomb is there ticking. If he gets close, he gets like paranoid. You know, like because for one, he doesn't know where the bomb is, and then two, you're shooting him. So you know, all adds up. This a lot of involves in mind games and stuff, and you just have to use that to the full potential. Thanks for watching my video, and hopefully the next time you watch my strategy videos, you get to learn a lot more, and thank you. Take care.